Hello, I'm Ben Jones and you're watching Dukascopy TV. The Bank of Canada have kept their rate at 1% as predicted, but trade balance data released today is not what was expected. Joining me on the line to discuss this is Fergal Smith from Action Economics. Now to begin with Fergal, if we can discuss the rate decision, no change in the interest rate. Is this what you expected from the BOC? And what are the reasons for sticking with this 1%? Yeah, I think the, the the bank was widely expected to stay on hold at 1%. What was the interest for the market with a shift to an explicit easing bias? And um, our view was that they'd hold off for now, and uh, that's what happened. But interestingly, uh, they have highlighted or acknowledged that uh, downside risk to inflation appear to be greater. So I think for the market, the market will wait now for the January monetary policy report, and there will be... The focus will remain whether the bank will adopt an explicit easing bias then, and a lot of that will depend on how inflation evolves going forward. Moving on to the trade balance data. Prior to today's release, September exports grew by 1.8%, but today's data showed a fall of 0.3%, and imports have declined by 1.2%. Why do you think this is, and what does it mean for the Canadian economy going forward? Yeah, well, energy exports had, had been adding to the total from June to September, so they were, they were due uh, a pullback. And, of course, energy prices remain a, a big driver, and we had a pullback in crude prices in October. But for us, the more interesting aspect is um, export volumes. They fell on the month. They fell 0.6%. Import volumes are flat. So the trade data was soft. For Canadian growth in the fourth quarter for GDP, uh, that means that it's a, a weak start for next exports. We're of the view that uh, ultimately net exports will make a, a positive contribution to GDP in the quarter. So we're still projecting growth will be 2.3% uh, in Q4. That's somewhat of a slowdown from 2.7% in Q3. That's due to reduced inventory accumulation. And finally, looking ahead, tomorrow we'll see building permits and IVPMI. Then on Friday we have unemployment data. What do you see as the event with the most importance to Canada and why? Yeah, clearly the employment report will be the, the big domestic driver. Look, what we're looking for a routine 15,000 gain. We think the unemployment will stay at 6.9%, but that's really due to a lean participation rate. Of interest for us will be hours worked. We saw a 0.4% gain in October, so we look for uh, hours worked to rise 0.2%, and uh, that should support an expansion in Q4 GDP. Fergal, thank you for joining me today. That's all we've got time for. Make sure you tune in tomorrow as I'll be taking a look at the US preliminary GDP release. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.